Thank <laughs> you. 
A finite check machine is, you know, this is a finite check machine in regular grammar, and this is not invented in a day. So it is whole 60s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, different scientists to me. I have told you that actually development start here. Turing machine, it, is, it has been designed by 1936 paper, on paper by Turing machine. Then the von Neumann got it interested and making a computer in 1950s and 60s. Turing has already died. Turing has just seen this machine. And finance machine in 1950s, 60, 61, the PDA. So it has been almost constantly reversed. But this machine, is, it is detected early. Okay. Now why last class I have both confident because our all focus will be on deterministic context with grammar that is the main regular programming languages. So a regular programming language has to be parsed and has to be parsed. No ambiguity. So this is the expression grammar because star has more value, so that is the reason we make a value T here. The expression grammar it can make it another division and minus sign also. This is the expression. And this is one Chomsky's normal form. Every context grammar can be converted to Chomsky's normal form. And another is Sheila Private normal form. Here the left hand side again is in the very right hand side start with the terminal. It should start with well, a single terminal and any number of values, A, B, C, D, not Tom's is normal. It should have, see if a grammar is like this, A, B, C, this is not Shila Grammar normal form because it should have only one terminal. Okay, this is nice Grammar normal form, but it is not that popular, it is popular. And another is S grammar, it is basically Grammar normal form, but every rule starts with a different terminal. That is very easy to parse because from the left hand side, whenever you see the terminal, you can identify the rule. If you see A, you can identify this rule. If you see B, this side, this S grammar. Very easy, this grammar, S grammar. See here, this is the Turing machine. What is the string to be accepted? Another algorithm, another undecidable problem is 
if you are giving two grammar ng1 and ng2 two grammar when that they are equivalent there is no stress you have to deny the grammar with sufficient length say maybe 10 or 100 sticks ng2 this pda this is undesirable problem that is go algorithm for this so this is the first in getting here undesirable same is during halting problem is undecidable that means you cannot say whether the machine will halt or not it doesn't halt that means machine hands so that's that is undecidable it is during halting problem is undecidable problem this is the best example of undecidable no algorithm for this you are also introducing algorithm class there are several algorithms you know the algorithms are p p are the polynomial Then two to the power n algorithms like your uh, tall Hanoi problem, two to the power n. Then traveling sensor problem, factorial n two to the power n. That is the exponential problem. The every size in the problem is exponentially big. So here and last thing is no algorithm. That is one best example is the halting problem. Okay. This is this is what is the deterministic PDA. What I have to show. Bravo. 